<laughs> well, technology is changing humanity in every way. Uh, some of it good, some of it not so good, but I think in general it's basically enabling us to become somewhat superhuman, um, for example with knowledge or information, uh, but also to become, to focus more on what we are because technology does the job. Probably in 20 years we may not have to work because of technology, um, but it's also changing our bodies. Uh, medicine will be bioengineering and we have genetics and stuff, so it's going to be interesting. I think what we need more than technology really in the end is a, uh, an ethic, you know, an understanding of what it is that we want to be. As I said on the stage, you know, the, the difference between going through a virtual system and getting information is like I get 2% of what is actually real, right? But seeing somebody and having is 100%. Right? So I think it's, it's going to be telepresence and teleworking and telecommuting will be big, but they will not substitute for a long time for the, for the actual meeting. However, having said that, I think a lot of business meetings will be done without traveling and without the beer. Huh. Well, obesity really, digital obesity is just eating too much information and connecting too much. It's just like food, same problem, right? So the problem is that with digital information, the information is free, the devices are cheap, the time is unlimited, so it's very tempting to get fat, right? It's even worse than food. So what we need to do is we need to figure out how we can have a diet of information that gives us time to digest and not to eat too much. Uh, so in many ways, offline becomes a new luxury. That's like saying uh, having a diet is the new eating.